In today's show, China endorses Bitcoin investment. I'm going to be sharing with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, including this brilliant market update from statistician Willie Wu. William Clemente points out serious strong hand hodlers are buying this dip. In the last 24 hours, over 200,000 Bitcoin became illiquid, a three-year record. And as Charles Edwards points out, every country that bans Bitcoin eventually reverses that ban. You simply cannot be competitive in the 21st century economy without it. China is playing 4D chess. The last three days have made it very very clear. They still dominate global mining slowly, slowly, then all at once. And checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser, he wrote, after this brief, extremely healthy correction, I'm raising my short-term Bitcoin target to $98,000 up from 77 k and my 2021 target remains at $220,000. Also, as Document and Bitcoin points out, Time Magazine, the 98-year-old publication, will start accepting Bitcoin for subscriptions and hodl it on their balance sheet. And as the Bitcoin archive points out, Bitcoin volume is back. March was dead quiet with price consolidation, low volatility, and reduced volume, but April has come alive. Also in today's show, the trader who predicted a Bitcoin crash from above 60K to the low 50s says an epic bounce to $70,000 is imminent. As you can see right here on your screen, 70,000 towards the end of the week slash week after. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, Bitcoin is only in halfway intermission, according to on-chain data analyst Willie Wu. He also recently updated his Bitcoin price target and says that Bitcoin is currently resting in a halfway intermission before it blasts off into potential gains as high as 733%. And according to his models, Wu says he's got his eye on the $300,000 level, but is ready for an overshoot well past $400,000 per Bitcoin. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the major altcoins are currently breaking out in the green with Doge leading the pack. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Here's where you can put your crypto to work. They're currently paying out a 6% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin, so you can literally have your Satoshis work for you, as well as 9.3% on USDT. Now, what I love about BlockFi, besides the fact they're so easy to use and that there are no hidden fees, is the fact they are backed by the biggest names in the industry, including Winklevoss, Fidelity, Morgan Creek, and Coinbase. And they have a special promo running right now where you can get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. All you need to do is click my referral link in the description right down below. It'll take you here. Simply click this yellow button that says sign up and you'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. A lot to cover today, so let's just dive right in. Bitcoin is beginning a new week, grinding back to 60K as the shock of the weekend price crash settles after dropping to its lowest $52,000 in a snap sell-off event. Bitcoin has spent the past two days slowly recovering its losses. What's next for the king of all crypto? I'm going to be sharing with you the five factors to consider as a new trading week gets underway and cryptocurrency holders across the board nurse their wounds. Let's start with number one, the stocks are primed for up only short term. The macro picture is fairly stable in Asia and Europe with the United States markets yet to open. A mixed picture greeted investors at the open, but volatility has been broadly absent with only oil showing signs of more pronounced weakness. As such, little impact on Bitcoin is to be expected from equity moves. Those forecasts to consider building on record highs in the coming weeks. Russell Chesler, the head of investments and capital markets at the Australian branch of crypto friendly investment manager Van Eck, captured the mood in a note quoted by Bloomberg. He shared the following. Our current view is that with short-term interest rates set to remain low for the medium term and our expectation that earnings will continue to increase, it is unlikely that the increase in long-term interest rates will trigger an equity market fall. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market is Bitcoin's recovery from the $52,000 crash. In Bitcoin circles, the main talking point naturally remains. The weekend's events, which saw a sudden cascade of selling, which sent Bitcoin down $7,000 in a matter of minutes, as well as $10 billion getting liquidated, bouncing at just above $52,000 
2000. The crash echoed very similar events this year, and Bitcoin managed to regain around 50% of its lost grounds within hours. And as you can see right here, it shows you the Bitcoin one hour chart. Responses, however, are split between those who consider volatility, business as usual. I'm one of those guys. I feel this is nothing more than a healthy correction. And then there's the more conservative voices calling time on the latest bull run. Now, what exactly caused this Bitcoin correction? There's two major factors, which I covered in great detail in yesterday's episode. One is the Chinese power blackout hitting the hash rate. As we all know, the Bitcoin price follows the hash rate as well as rumored legal action by U.S. regulators against unnamed financial institutions related to money laundering. In his own breakdown of what happened, popular statistician Willie Wu highlighted both China and skittish moves by futures investors as contributing to the losses. In this brilliant new market update by Willie Wu, he goes on to share, we just saw the single largest one-day drop in mining hash rate since November 2017. The hash rate on the network essentially halved, causing mayhem in the Bitcoin price as it crashed. And he continues in very depth here, the power outage in Xingxiang, which powers a significant amount of the Bitcoin mining network, was known before the Bitcoin price crash. Here's local news on April 15th, which shows us when the blackout actually was. And on April 16th, 9,000 Bitcoin was sent into Binance, read that as a sell-off to those coins. I note that Binance serves volume from Asia more than the West. It's likely this was sent from a whale with closer knowledge to happenings in China. And he continues in great detail. I'm going to include this in the show notes below the video in the description for you to reference and check it out. Now, I just want to give you some more of the highlights. The on-chain SOPR metric is near a full reset, a classic buy and dip signal. In simple terms, profit taking by longer term investors is completing. Very little sell power left unless investors want to sell out a loss from their entry price, unlikely in a bull market. And he concludes right here with a summary. Initial sell-off due to anticipation of miners going offline in China. Sell pressure was sufficient to trigger liquidation of short-term speculator positions, forcing price violently down. And longer-term fundamentals is very strong. So there you have it. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week are the fundamentals pointing higher. It's not just the SOPR, but a whole range of the Bitcoin network indicators and fundamentals are buoying the bull's case, even as Bitcoin remains below February's high of 58,300. For Willy Woo and others, particularly important are the transfer of funds to investors who have traditionally hodled, not sold. Another classic trait of Bitcoin's rise in recent months. And as you can see right here, it shows you the Bitcoin liquid supply change chart showing transfers to strong hands. Now, checking out the latest tweets from William Clemente, he wrote, serious strong-handed hodlers are buying this dip. In the last 24 hours, over 200,000 Bitcoin became a liquid, a three-year record. And he also tweeted, the illiquid supply increase is not just dip buyers with no history of selling, but partially accumulation from five to six months ago, of which those wallets have just crossed the illiquid threshold for this metric. Now, lastly, around 13.5% of the total available Bitcoin supply has been active above 53K, something which Willie Wu says is confirming its status as a trillion dollar asset at around 53,800. Bitcoin's market cap becomes a solid $1 trillion. Quoting him right here, the dip happened while unprecedented numbers of users are arriving onto the network per day. There's been a retail influx in the last two to three weeks, Wu additionally noted, with total wallet numbers nearing 10 million, which is also an all-time high. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market is the difficulty adjustment takes care of the miners' woes. A closer look at the hash rate, which at one point dipped by almost half, shows that a recovery in line with price is underway. According to rough estimates from on-chain monitoring resource blockchain, Bitcoin network hash rate is already back above 150 exahashes per second, having broken through the 200 exahashes per second barrier for the first time in history last week, as you can see right here on your screen. Now, miners leaving the network due to power problems leads to Bitcoin's network difficulty decreasing to incentivize more to come online. Further confirmation that the weekend's issue was firmly temporary comes from difficulty forecast in two weeks' time when it next adjusts. Difficulty will only drop by around 4%, a modest move which could be canceled out altogether as miners return. Now, this balance between hash rate and difficulty is arguably the most important aspect of Bitcoin, one which allows it to govern itself and preserve security and functionality regardless of sudden events impacting the network participants. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market is Chinese central bank praises Bitcoin and stable coins. That's right. In another unanticipated event, which is arguably yet to be fully appreciated by the market, China has given the unprecedented stamp of approval to cryptocurrency as an investment alternative. Speaking at a conference organized by CNBC, Li Bo, deputy governor of China's central bank, the People's Bank of China, broke ranks to validate both Bitcoin and stable coins. Quoting him right here, we regard Bitcoin and stable coin as crypto assets. These are investment alternatives. He said, the comments are surprising as despite being a 
Center for Bitcoin Mining Activity, China has had a blanket ban in place on trading and transacting in crypto since September of 2017. Checking out this tweet from Charles Edwards in regard to this news of China embracing Bitcoin and stable coins. He wrote, every country that bans Bitcoin eventually reverses that ban. You simply cannot be competitive in the 21st century economy. Without it, China is playing 4D chess. The last three days have made it very clear. They still dominate global mining slowly, slowly, then all at once. So there you have it. And before I break down the latest from Max Kaiser, as well as document and Bitcoin and the Bitcoin archive, as well as a trader who predicted the Bitcoin crash from above 60,000 down to the low 50s, says an epic bounce to 70,000 is imminent, as well as Bitcoin only in halfway intermission, according to on-chain data analyst Willie Wu, who updates his latest Bitcoin price target. First, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most all the major altcoins currently breaking out in the green after a pretty healthy correction over the weekend. We have Bitcoin Bitcoin up about 2.5%, trading above 56500 Ethereum up about 5%, trading just above $2,200. Binance Coin up 12.5%, trading at $513. Dogecoin leading the pack, no pun intended, up another 29%, flirting at about $0.40. Cents. It reached a new all-time high this morning of about $0.44. Cents. We have Chainlink up 10%, trading at about $39. And XRP up 5%, trading at $1.37. Now checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser, he tweeted, after this brief, extremely healthy correction, I'm raising my short-term Bitcoin target to $98,000. My 2021 target remains at 220000 Now, the key words I want to point out here is healthy correction. That's why he raised his short-term target from $77,000 to now $98,000. Now, Max Kaiser has a very accurate Bitcoin price prediction history. When do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to reach $98K? Let me know in the comments right down below. And do you feel that the Bitcoin price can hit $220,000 this year? Holla at your boy. Now, checking out the latest from Document and Bitcoin, breaking news. Time Magazine, the 98-year-old publication, will now accept Bitcoin for subscriptions. Not only that, but hollow it on their balance sheet. This is a pretty big deal. Also, as the Bitcoin archive points out, the Bitcoin volume is back. March was dead quiet. We had price consolidation, low volatility, as well as reduced volume. April has come alive, as you can see right here on your screen, rocket ship to the moon. And before I break down our next story of the day, the trader who predicted the Bitcoin crash from above 60K to the low 50s says an epic bounce to 70,000 is imminent, as well as Bitcoin only in halfway intermission, according to On chain data analyst Willy Wu and updating his Bitcoin price target. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting just above that $2 trillion milestone with $230 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and the current Bitcoin dominance back on the decline at 51.2% and the current Bitcoin market cap above $1 trillion. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have NEO up 46% trading at $119. QTUM up 41% trading just under 20 bucks. Dogecoin up 30 35% for the day and a whopping 472% for the week, trading just under 40 cents. And Solana up 28%, trading at 34 bucks. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The trader who nailed Bitcoin's violent collapse from above 60K to the lows of 50,000 is now predicting that the leading crypto asset will ignite an epic bounce and restart its bull market. On April 12th, which was one week ago, the trader and crypto analyst Loma told his 128,000 followers that he believed Bitcoin would trap bulls with the fake breakout just as the crypto exchange Coinbase gets listed on the stock market and he nailed it last week with this tweet scenario I'm looking at for Bitcoin heading into coin listing takes highs leading into listing impoverishes breakout buyers slash ascending triangle traders $70,000 towards the end of the week slash week after as you can see right here on your screen and he updated this just recently closed all leverage longs maintaining core positions on Ethereum Bitcoin and SOL reshorting Bitcoin because price acceptance below prior all-time highs game plan outline here a week ago as I just shared with you now, after Bitcoin took that massive nosedive this weekend touching $52,000 and liquidating almost 10 billion although Bitcoin dropped nearly 15% from 60k in a matter of hours Loma believes that the worst of the pullback is over quoting him right here $50,000 bottom run it back turbo I would celebrate being right but being correctly bearish in a bull market feels like what send this what back up $70,000 imminent. So there you have it. The Wiley Follow Trader also highlights that the massive pullback does not indicate that the crypto bull market is over, quoting him right here. This ain't the top, by the way. This would be the weirdest top I've ever seen. Pullbacks are a part of the process. If you're bullish, pullbacks are what you need to compound your gains even further. I love that he points that out. Keep stacking those stats. Take advantage of these crash sales. Hence, where bullish selling 
comes from. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin only in halfway intermission, according to on-chain data analyst Willy Wu, and he updates his Bitcoin price target. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 750 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this you can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from spotify the home of the joe rogan experience to apple's itunes you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is crypto news yes and for those of you active on facebook i do have a private crypto facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it click this link request to join i'll be sure to plug you in and for those of you active on telegram as i am i do have a private crypto telegram chat which is uncensored to join it click this link all right now let's break down our final story of the day prominent on-chain data analyst willy Wu says that bitcoin is currently resting at a halfway intermission before it blasts off into potential gains as high as 733 percent let's go btc to the moon and Infinity and beyond. And a new episode of the What Bitcoin Did podcast with Peter McCormick, the widely followed crypto analyst, says he has a moving price target starting at $300,000 Bitcoin for this bull cycle. That's right. According to his models, including the top cap model, Wu says he got his eye on the $300,000 level, but is ready for an overshoot well past $400,000. Quoting him right here, the longer this bull market runs, the higher the target goes. And right now, it's so fast. Right now, it's on track to go above $300,000. I repeat, right now, it's on track to go above $300,000 per BTC, referencing Plan B's controversial stock to flow model, which places Bitcoin at the $288,000 level this year. I should point out that stock to flow X. Wu believes the target is destined to be blown apart. Plan B's sitting there with his stock to flow model, which gives a hard number of $288,000. And mine is like, I don't care. As more money piles in, this line keeps moving up. It's a moving target. Even that 288,000 target, you'll see that it overshoots. It always overshoots. If it's 288,000, it goes to 300,000, 400,000, and even $500,000 per Bitcoin. The popular trader says that unlike other tradable assets, Bitcoin has barely penetrated its buyer base or been adopted by the mainstream, giving it a unique upside potential. Quoting him right here, Bitcoin, of course, has been in this hyperbolic curve upwards as people adopt it. So we're currently at something like 50,000 more people that you can see on the blockchain per day coming in to buy for the first time. So that means probably around 150,000 people, all told, including the exchanges, you've got those hordes of people coming in to buy it. And every dip you get, they're going to buy it. So you'll see this upward movement. Every dip is bought up higher. And that would be explaining this particular triangle with Bitcoin. And to watch this entire interview, check out the show notes below the video in the description, as I'll be sure to include it. Now for a quick recap, what I covered with you right here in today's show, China endorses Bitcoin investment. I shared with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, including this brilliant market update by statistician Willy Wu. Also, as I pointed out, after this brief, extremely healthy correction, Max Kaiser raises his short-term Bitcoin target to $98,000, and his 2021 target remains at $220,000 per Bitcoin. Also in today's show, I shared the trader who predicted the Bitcoin crash from above $60,000 down to the low 50s, says an epic bounce to $70,000 per Bitcoin is imminent. Also in today's show, I shared that Bitcoin is only in halfway intermission, according to on-chain data analyst Willy Wu, and he also updated his latest price prediction, says he has his eye on the $300,000 level, but is ready for an overshoot well past $400,000 thousand dollars per bitcoin so where do you feel the bitcoin price is likely to go next let me know in the comments right down below well that's going to conclude today's show as always i appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix if you gain value out of today's show be sure to smash that subscribe button that's right and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this all right real quick before i go i want to give a special shout out to our sponsor blockfi where you can put your crypto to work you can get paid a six percent annual percentage yield on your bitcoin and literally have your satoshis work for you as well as 9.3 percent on usdt now their other flagship product besides a blockfi interest account is crypto back loans you ever wonder how can i access fiat liquidity without selling my precious bitcoin or crypto well look no further with blockfi you can get an interest rate as low as four and a half percent and they have a promo 
promo running right now where you can get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. All you need to do is click my referral link in the description right down below. It'll take you here. Simply click this yellow button that says sign up and you'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below. Let's start stacking those sats and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.